Good evening, sir. Were you successful? <sighs> sir, your ID. Shut yourself down. I need to work. In silence. Sir, if I may say something... Your situation is without a doubt far from happy, but it shouldn't lead you to suicidal thoughts. What would you know about that? You're not alive. That's not very nice, Richard. What? Am I hurting your feelings? I'm registering that you're angry, sir, but you shouldn't take it out on me. Oh, really? Why not? Didn't you say you belong to us? Everything here belongs to me, you get me? If I want, I can make scrap out of you. I could hack you up with an axe and not even pay a fine. Who's gonna stop me? Of course, sir. But that wouldn't be very human. Oh, yes, my friend. It would be all too human. It's me. Just wanted to see if you're still alive. I'm fine, but Phil... Yeah, I know. Poor guy. But it's fine. It's fine? This is war, Richard. Losses are part of a game. What were they doing in Doomsday? They're nervous because of our campaign. Did you contact him already? Newman? No. Then do it. You can access the database near Cloud Hub now. I'm still not entirely sure how. Tell Adam he needs to look for data fragments. We've already uploaded some for him. They're encrypted. Only he can see them. Or so I hope. He needs to find them and send them to your cloud hub. Begin with a keyword. When you find a fragment, upload it. Keep going until... Until you have some remnant of intact memories we can use. And if he doesn't believe me? Improvise. You know him better than he does. I'll call you back. Hardly. But you'll be hearing from me. Memento database. Fine. Data fragments, keywords. How am I supposed to understand this? Hive call. Newman, Adam. That must be him. Let's see if this Adam Newman person picks up now. Call service. Welcome. This contact is currently offline. Please hold. Closing cloud call. This contact. Hive call service. Connection failed. This contact is currently offline. Hold. My name is Richard Nolan. I'm calling from Berlin. From where? What kind of connection is this? It's not so easy to explain. The connection is improvised. You mean illegal, right? Listen to me, Adam. This is important. I'm calling because I have reason to believe that... Yes? That... That you... Are a part of me. What? Uh, let me explain. No. Please. Don't explain anything. Adam, please. Hey. Hi, Lydia. Hey. What's up? Nothing, nothing. I just wanted to hear your voice. 
Okay, you've heard it now. Am I disturbing you? Is Tracy there? And no, Tracy is not here. But I'm still disturbing you. Let's not start this again, okay? How long do you think I'm going to play this game, Richard? Lydia, listen, I really have to go. Let's talk later, okay? You wanted to talk to Tracy months ago. I have to go now, Lydia. Closing cloud call. <sighs> what am I doing? I have to talk to Adam again. It's me again. I can see that. I'm blocking this frequency now. Adam, please, don't hang up. Did you receive anything? Some kind of data? Data? Data fragments, uh, virtual constructs. I know it... Wait. That thing in my apartment, that's... That's yours? This, um... I don't know. Hologram. That must be it. Well, just... Get it out of my wife's study. Send it to me. How can I? It's data. Send it to my cloud address. I'll decrypt it and send it back to you. What? No, w why? So you can take a look at it. At your data? <laughs> I don't even know you. Yes, Adam, you do. You know me better than... Okay, look. There has to be some kind of misunderstanding, sir. I'm gonna send you back your stuff now, and that's it. Goodbye. What a creep. Well, let's see if we can get this thing out of Amy's study. You have two new messages. Adam, how are you? Uncle Jeremy is coming out of his cryo sleep on Saturday. We're all meeting at the Wilson's place. Are you coming? Family is important, Adam. Okay, I'll stop. See you soon. Lots of love. Adam, please give me a call. I have to talk to you. Okay, that was... All right. What now? Send it? From where? My cloud hub? Send it to me. Hmm. Let's see. Warning. The version number of this object is obsolete. Hmm. Scan complete. Object ID recognized. Oh. Object sent successfully. Cloud Hub prompt. You have new data from unknown. Adam, finally. Let's see. This data is 18 years old. How far back does this database go? Sector 36, Berlin. The doomsday, perhaps? Okay, decode fragment. Okay.
unknown has sent you new data to your cloud hub. They actually did send me data. that where out get going go jerk you're completely off your head look at you this will have consequences mm, sure go home sleep it off that's incredible hey open up i've lost something open up you idiots it's important important what's important who is that Hello? Can you hear me? Oh, they've probably thrown it in the trash. Apparently not. They're still here. If I were you, I'd get out of here. You don't want to be hanging around here as a woman at this time of night. Especially not in your state. But leave me alone. I'm looking for something. <laughs> not here, you're not. Hey, darling. You all alone here? Ugh. Hey, I asked you something. Leave me alone. Why don't you come here? Oh, get lost. There's that Richard. What's going on, honey? Oh, well, I, I lost something. I heard. You were making a lot of noise about it. Something important? Well, for me, it is. It's, it's, it's a lucky charm. Hey, could I take a photo of you? You have a wonderful face, full of anguish. Beautiful. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm a scan photographer at Kurt's Labs. Here's my card. So if you want to... Thanks, but I really gotta go. You should go home, honey. It's dangerous around here when the club closes. Uh, excuse me? What's up? I need help. Mm -hmm. You left something in there. I heard you. Yeah, I, I... I think they put it in the garbage back there. And that old guy creeps you out. Got it. You know him? He hangs around here a bit, looks for scrap. He's mostly harmless. Uh-huh. Mostly. Could you... Would you... Have a word with him? <laughs> of course. That would be great. Come with me. Let's go over together. He looks younger. Hey, enough for today, okay? <laughs> Get lost, man. I'm busy. The lady here is looking for something. The lady should take care of her sweet neck. Everything here belongs to me. You want me to call the cops? You think I'm afraid of them? We could try and find out. Hey! All right. All right. Oh, finally. Such a creep. Thanks for helping me out. Not a problem. Should I help you look for it? What is it exactly? Mm, my lucky charm? It's a... a... music box. <laughs> what, what's so funny? You carry a music box around with you. That's really touching. Listen, thanks again. I'll be fine alone. Hey, I didn't mean to offend you. No, no, it's all fine. Okay. Can I do anything else? No. It's an important music box, isn't it? I need it. Oh, damn it! Where is it? A cloud call? Oh, no. Dad. What does he want now? There! There it is! Oh, thank God! Ah, you can 
open it. I see. It's really important. But what's it got to do with you? You're right. I'm sorry. Hey, you think I could ask you out for a drink? My treat? That's nice, but I have to make a cloud call now. It's all right. That stuff is ruining your life. Uh, don't start with this again. Your mother and I talked about it yesterday. We're both of the opinion that if you want to fall, then we'll let you. All the way. You won't wake up till you hit rock bottom. What's that supposed to mean? We've decided not to help you anymore, Tracy. What? You're not going to hear from us. And we don't want you to call. You'll receive no support and no money. Daddy, you can't be serious. Don't interrupt me. Do a detox, get a job, take responsibility yourself. Then and only then can you contact us. Not before then, you understand? Are you guys crazy? You want to just cut me off entirely? Take care of yourself, okay? Daddy? <laughs> Tracy, look this way, please. Fantastic, thanks. Where am I now? A couple of questions, Tracy. Just quick, our readers love you. Okay, I have a couple minutes. But nothing personal, okay? And no politics. <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel to be the Voice's new station avatar? How was the scan? Fantastic. Now I can load my youth craze onto my avatar and grow old in peace. Not that I'm in a rush. <laughs> Next question, please. Tracy, the voice Boston here. There's one question we keep hearing in our feed. How do you stay so fit? What's your secret? I meditate. I do yoga. I begin every day with sun salutations. It strengthens body and soul. Do you use anything else for your meditative experiences? What are you getting at? For example, say, substances. Ah, well, I drink herbal tea. That helps a lot. Next question. Just herbal tea? Are you certain? You don't put anything else in there? I've answered your question. Someone else? Ted Beasley, The Guardian. Miss Dawson, you were in Moscow last autumn. No political questions, please. Okay. A photo was taken of you with representatives of the Eastern Union. Is that not a slap in the face for your Western fans? Yeah, who knows? Maybe I'm a secret agent for the East. <laughs> <coughs> Are you not taking a very serious situation a bit too lightly, Ms. Dawson? Next question, please. And no more politics. There are rumors that your parents have... Excuse me. Miss Dawson will not take any more questions regarding her private life. What? What about my parents? Your parents have been rumored to have cut off all contact with you. Why? Yeah, my parents and I have different opinions sometimes. That's how it is with human parents, right? Does your fight with your parents have something to do with your nightlife? Next question, please. What would you say to people that have claimed you're a junkie? I don't talk with such people. Back to Moscow, Ms. Dawson. As I said, no politics. Interview over. Do you take drugs, Tracy? Time's up. Thank you, everybody. Tracy, what is it? Everything's fine. My bag. I just need to get my bag. Maybe you left it at the coat check. Hurry up. 
must be some kind of VR. But what does all of this have to do with me? Okay, you, you look kind of worried. Yeah, you look a little pale. Come on, take a seat. I need to get my stuff back. Can I get you a drink? Walter, cut it out, okay? You're too old for this. Let me take care of the lady. I apologize. Sometimes my colleague overestimates himself. Oh, -ho! come on, Walter. You have to write in my edits, don't you? Oh, fine. We'll see who's overestimating who. Good. Now we're rid of him. Uh, that wasn't very nice. Ah, it's Walter. He can handle it. But he's right. You look pale, and you're shaking. Can I help you? My bag. My bag is gone. It was just here. It was lying on the table. What does it look like? <sighs> like a bag. Black with a gold lock. Was there something valuable in it? It's not in here. It must be somewhere else. Tracy, I believe this belongs to you. Yes. Oh, thank God. Or where was it? Uh, my assistant found it. It was lying upturned on the floor. Tracy, this is Dr. Kurtz, director of Kurtz Institutes. Tracy, I'd like to talk to you alone for a minute. Excuse me, but we were just... I didn't ask you. I asked Tracy. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Don't take that tone with me. But it's exactly the tone you deserve. I don't believe you know who I am. I do, actually. And I believe your boss is waiting for you. Richard, can you come here, please? This is a joke, right? No! Fine, okay. Tracy, I have to go. Maybe we'll see each other again later? Richard! Coming, coming. Oh, sorry, we have to go. I've arranged for your Sky Whale to wait. What uh, can I do for you? I've been observing you for a while, Tracy. You are wonderful, perfect. I have some interesting work for you. What is the work, sir? You mind if I turn your bot off for just a second? How did you do that? I know the kill switch frequencies. I designed this model. Tracy, I'd like to have you on board for a project. A genetic exploration. You need not worry, it's completely safe. And you would be doing science a big favor. Is it... Well paid? I wouldn't worry about that. Come visit me at Kurt's Labs. I will tell you all the details. Uh, let me consider it, okay? I'll call you. Do. Oh, we are late. We have to go, Tracy. Okay, I have to go. See you soon. Okay. What the hell was that? Hello. Adam, thank God. So, can we talk now? Yes. I have a couple of questions. Sure, sure. About that data you sent me. Yeah? Was that you? Yes! Did you... Yes, that's right! It's a... a piece of data from my life. 
Why can I experience it? How did you do that? I have access to a database, but the data is encrypted and virtual. The data can only be played virtually where you are. <laughs> okay. Uh, where are you, did you say? In Berlin. In reality, the physical world. Uh, I don't know a Berlin. Is that like a VR or something? It's reality. Your city is a VR. <laughs> My city isn't real. You're not real. Okay. That is insane. I'm hanging up. Adam, you have a family, right? Just like me. Yes. And I have to take care of them. John, my son, he isn't doing too well. That's terrible. What's wrong? He has to go to a clinic every day. Is he sick? He's upset. I had a cab accident, and his mother isn't here. She's working. A cab? What happened? I don't remember. Like I said, an accident. You didn't have an accident, Adam. These are echoes from my memory. They've probably been modified. I had an accident. You understand? It was horrible. Tracy, she... She was with me in the car. Tracy? My wife. Does the name mean nothing to you? My wife is called Amy. But... There was a Tracy... Uh, in that... Uh... Tracy? You saw Tracy? Where? When? Talk to me, Adam. Tell me everything. Did Tracy say anything? Did you notice anything? Kurtz. Dr. Kurtz. In a wheelchair? Raymond Kurtz, yeah. And? What does he have to do with Tracy? Tracy and Kurtz were talking. He wanted her for a project. A genetic study. A genetic study? Nothing else? No. Look around. There has to be another data set somewhere. Listen, I don't think... Send it to me. The more fragments you see, the better. Sorry. I have to go now. Who were you talking to? What? Oh, just a hive call. It was... I don't know. Some guy called Richard. Were you mad at him? Mad? No. Just a difficult guy. Hmm. Kurtz. Maybe Walter isn't that crazy after all. You have new cloud messages. Do you know what, Richard? Screw you! Have a nice life with your model! Hey, Richard, it's me, Jenny. Call me back, okay? Hey, Jenny. Thanks for the message. Here I am. Richard, thanks for calling me. Listen, I'm getting worried now. Have you heard anything at all? Nothing. Steve is helping out. I'm very thankful. Yeah. Listen, Richard, I wanted to apologize. I wasn't very nice to you on Sunday. It's okay. Neither was I. It was all a bit too much for me. I was pretty exhausted. So are you doing any better? Health-wise, I mean. I think it's going to take a while. My memory, you know, a lot has come back to me, but there are also things... I might go back to the doctor again. Hey, can I ask you something, Richard? Something personal? Sure. Do you love Tracy? Well, what kind of a question is that? You know us, Jenny. We have James. We're a family. No, that's not what I mean. Of course I love her. How could you think... Wait a second. Are you in contact with Tracy? Is this her idea? <laughs> what? She wants you to feel me out. That's what's going on. No? What for? What do I know? Maybe she wants to know if it's worth coming back to me. Or maybe she wants revenge. Just wants to make me suffer. <laughs> Richard... Or she probably wants you to oversee the breakup. Tell me she's leaving me in stages. Hey, are you completely insane? You're in this together. You're not calling because you care about me. <laughs> okay, Richard, this is just too stupid for me now. 
Oh yeah, for me too. <laughs> you really need to see a doctor. Let me know when you're feeling better. Hi, Steve. And? How was it in Doomsday? Did you clear up your expiration? More or less. What about that man in my apartment? Did you make progress with a database? Okay, Richard. Listen to me. I, I don't know if it'll help you now, but I put his movement profile into MoveScan. Who is it? I don't know. If for some reason, this database is coming up with more than one match. I thought movement profiles were unique, like fingerprints. Well, if you ask me, this whole move scan stuff doesn't work. Can we meet up? I know you have a lot on your plate, but I have to know if you found anything out about the man Tracy was with. Uh, yeah, sure. I'm at the office. I have to talk to you, Steve. Do you? Yes. I... I think I have some real problems. Actually, buddy, I knew that already. Hey, Richard. Can't stay away, huh? Hey, Richard. Listen to me. I want to talk to you. No more than okay. No Not here, though. Keep an eye on your blood Come with me. Sure. Is this about Jennifer? If you know already, why didn't you come to me? Well, I thought time heals all wounds anyway, right? <laughs> you snap at my wife, blame her and accuse her with crazy conspiracy theories, and, and then you think you can just sit and, and wait it out? I don't know what came over me. It's all a bit much for me at the moment. You can't imagine what I... I don't care about all that. Whatever happened to you, it's no excuse for attacking your friends. You don't have that many. Now, if you keep going on like this, you'll have even fewer. Steve, I'm sorry, okay? Don't tell me. Tell Jenny. What about the research? Will you still help me? Steve, please. You have no idea what I... Yeah, just cut it out. You had an accident, yes, I get it. But you also had a life before your damned accident. You're trying to get it back in order. That's exactly what I'm trying. Listen, I will help you, but I'm doing it for your family, for Tracy and the kid, okay? Okay. Good. Come with me. Come on, let's find your family. Okay, Steve. Are these the move scan results? You know we can both go to jail for this, right? Let's start with the best matches. Yilmaz, One, 99.6%. Might be it.
Thomas. 82.2%. Nine point seven Curtis Peter. Best match so far. Jack Oster, eighty two per cent. Four point three Philip Osang This is something. Wait, slow down. We should look at the profiles one by one. Christos something, 89.6. Right. Have a look at that. Wait, slow down. We should look at the profiles one by one. Hmm. I'm missing something. Missing something. Okay, that looks better. Wait, slow down. We should look at the profiles one by All one. All right, now we only need the cloud contact. There, that's a hit. Stanley White. Does he have a profile? Yep. With cloud contact and everything. He's from here, see? Berlin. Okay. Welcome to the... He looks different to the man in the video. Yeah. Strange. I'll still call him, though. Something else, Steve. Do you have any material regarding Kurt's labs in the archives? Oh, don't tell me you're starting with that, too. I just want to check something. Sure. That's what Walter said. All that stuff is with him. Has been for ages. I see. I had no idea what he... Uh, what he's been doing since he... went solo. I wonder why that was. I should talk to him again. Autonomous machines were responsible for the attacks.
Hey, Walter. May I... May I interrupt you for a second? <sighs> Hi, Richard. What are you doing now? Researching. Uh -huh. What about? <laughs> you wouldn't understand. Try me. Come on, Richard, stop it. We haven't worked together in an age. Do you know the last time you were in this office? It's been a while, I know. Four years. That long already? <laughs> You know, at some point, I just couldn't muster the courage to walk in here. I thought you were angry at me. You did? Yes. Because... Because I left you hanging. Oh, stop talking crap, Richard. Frank put me out the pasture, and you... You had more important things to do. That's not true, and you know it. Whatever. But why are you here? Small talk? If you like. How's Tracy? Uh, what's the kid up to? How's your career? Walter, please. What? Are we doing small talk or not? Tracy and James have disappeared. I'm looking for them. Hmm. I thought so. What do you mean, you thought so? <laughs> Forget it. You know I'm a bit mad. Everybody does. I need your help, Walter. <laughs> Go ask Frank. He'll help you, I'm sure. He fired me. Really? Well, Richard, that's how it is. Everybody's time comes. Walter, listen. You've done research on Kurt's labs in the past, haven't you? <laughs> I have. Do you still have the files? Well, you're too late. There are things in motion that can't be stopped anymore. I don't get it. What, what things? <sighs> you know, Richard, I've been doing a lot of thinking these past years. I used to think life was about finding the truth or getting justice or whatever. It's not? No, it's about life. Life and living. You just got to be on the correct side. Uh-huh. And what is the correct side? We're all mortal. Sooner or later, we all die. And then what? A gravestone, a bunch of paperwork, some data. Okay, and? Well, there are always two sides to every story, here and beyond. Life and death. One and zero. A binary system, you understand? <laughs> Actually, not at all. <laughs> you will. You're just taking your first steps. Frank's right. You're actually insane. When you look into the mirror, Richard, what do you see? Walter, listen. What do you think you see yourself? No. What you see is matter. Nothing more. It's not you. It's completely replaceable. You gotta get out more, Walter. Interact with some people. Well, you could be right. And you know what? I will get out of here. Very soon, in fact. That's good. Very good. Do you still have that house by the lake? I'd like to come visit you someday. A house? Yeah, but, uh... I don't need it anymore. Why not? Where are you going? You, you're not planning anything stupid, Walter. Don't worry about me. Walter, about Tracy and James. I'm worried. Really worried. They'll be fine. They'll take care of themselves. And you will too. Listen, it's my family we're talking about. Oh, why? You didn't seem to care about them before. Family, friends. I mean, you never had any time for anybody. Look, I'm sure Tracy knows what she's doing. How can you say such a thing? I understand that you're disappointed, but... You're portraying me as some sort of monster. These files, 
Can you even make sense of that mess? They're not important anymore. Okay, but what is all this? It just doesn't look... healthy. Anatomical studies, neural networks, chemical formulas, architectural models. What the hell is going on, Walter? Are you writing some crazy diary or what? Maybe. But why? What's the meaning of it? I told you, it's not important anymore. You can have it. The whole thing. I don't need it anymore. Well, then... I'm coming back tomorrow, okay? Sure. Of course. No, really. I'm coming. Eastern and Western drone units continues in the mining room. So, what's Walter up to? Still hates me. And what else is new? Drone Gate, Steve. It's all about Drone Gate because I won that stupid award. He's got to get out of that stupid hole there. I don't get why Frank isn't doing something about it. Like I was twiddling my thumbs. I was the one getting the whole thing off the ground. Richard, not everything's always about you. Yeah, well, he hates me. A news flash from the voice. Mr. Nolan, is now a good time? Uh. Troy Davis, I've been supporting the team over the past week. I heard. Congratulations. I am a big fan of your column. Really? Well, thanks. Are you feeling better now? Pardon? Oh, your colleague said that you had an accident. Yeah, yeah I'm okay. How long have you been working as a journalist? Oh, well, not that. Uh, th this is my first job. I I'm so glad that Frank offered it to me. I promise you that your work is safe in my hands. I'm sure it will be. Well then, I have to get to work. In case we don't see each other again. Oh no. and disease. Help our authorities fight crime. Would you like me to help analyze it? I can do it alone. As you wish, sir. I just thought it might be faster. I'll do it alone! Walter was my friend. I understand, sir. Have a look at that. At what, sir? And not you. But there's nobody else here. I know, it's just something people say. You were talking with yourself. Yes, people do that. Lonely people do that. What are you looking at? You seem melancholy, sir. Take care of your own stuff.
Walter is lonely, correct? What makes you think that? Because I said that he's crazy? I can tell by these records. It's like he is talking to himself. He needs a friend. He needs a doctor. A secret lab. No clue about the location. I need more of Adam's data. If you think he is crazy, then why are you studying his records? <sighs> I can't afford to ignore them. I need to check every trace for a clue. That is not logical. Walter wasn't always like this. He was a good man. One of the best. When Walter had a hunch, there was always a story. I understand. So you betrayed him, sir. Is that the correct word? What do you mean? You said he was your friend. Past tense. He was? You left him alone. He became lonely and therefore crazy. That is logical. No, it was the other way around. He got so involved in this... this... madness, and now... Now you're looking for things in there that you could use. <sighs> hey, what are you trying to say? Forgive me, sir. I didn't want to pry. I'm just trying to understand your behavior. Uh-huh. And do you understand now? Yes, sir. I do. What? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Hey, Jeff. Made any progress yet? I've made it through to Adam. He's seen the data. Apparently Tracy met with... What about Charlie? Has Adam made contact yet? Charlie? Who, your colleague? No, I... We're, we're still working on that. Work harder. We need his data. What exactly is your man doing up there? He's locating the servers of the virtual city. This VR needs to be destroyed, Richard. There's probably hundreds of people up there, Jeff. Millions if we don't act now. What is Kurtz's endgame? What does he want? Power? Control? Saving mankind? I don't care. I know Kurtz. He doesn't think small. I believe he wants to upload every single one of us. Evidently even someone like you. We have to stop him. That's all that matters. Or we'll all just be drooling meat with our minds trapped in some digital limbo. Okay, how can you be sure this Charlie's still alive? We're receiving his signal, but the contact's been cut off. He's stranded up there. You worked for Kurtz, right? How do you know that? I'm a journalist. Something you're not telling me, Jeff? I told you already. We don't know what kind of machine it is. We also don't know where your wife is. Maybe I should just go talk to Kurtz instead. <laughs> sure, send him a postcard. I'm not dead. I'm in Berlin. Please come and get me. Uh, okay, then. Speak soon. Stanley, my name is Richard Nolan. Nolan? From The Voice? Yep, that's me. How'd you get this number? Huh, <laughs> of course. You're a journalist. What do you want, a story? Or a nice time? I'd like to ask you a couple of questions, in person. A story it is. Sure, why not? Good for business. Send me your geolocation. I'll meet you there, okay? <laughs> okay. See you then, Richard Nolan.
aquatic personnel were on board, according to the carrier. In Berlin, overnight, a raid on multiple subway tunnels resulted in... How's it going? We said 10 o'clock. I was here at 10. Nature called. <sighs> Can you even talk then? Huh, really? Yeah, I'm good. So, why the honor? Do you want to write a story about me? Hey, didn't you do one about drugs once? Ha <laughs> ha, and your wife. Oh, <laughs> I remember. That was a long time ago. No, I'm investigating something else. It's about movement data. You know, tracking profiles. I was looking for someone in a database, but your profile came up, and I thought it was a bit strange. So I thought, maybe we should get to know each other. So, who are you looking for? Man from a video? Mid-40s? He looks nothing like you. But he moves exactly like me. You got it. <laughs> maybe a fan. You know, I know a lot of people. It comes with a job. Maybe he thinks I'm his role model or something. The system doesn't mess up that easily. Do you have siblings? A brother, maybe? Only child. Really terrible childhood, you know? How do you get by, if I may ask, with dealing? I don't like that word. I sell experiences. I'm an artist. Experiences. I think I know how that ends. Hey, your wife just took the wrong thing. If she'd come to me, she never would have crashed like that. Okay, let's get back to your movement data. You know what? Maybe you didn't see a man in your video. It could have been a telepresence. With your movement profile? Well, Valerie scanned me once for a sculpture. Yeah, maybe she sold on the data. Valerie? The artist, Valerie von Stahl. Perfections. Yeah, he must have heard of it. That was one of her models. Cool gig. So what happened? She performed a nano scan on you? Something like that. I got 50,000 credits for it and a ticket to the colony. And you want to go? To Mars? But you have your experiences. Isn't that enough for you? <laughs> for now. But I mean, look around you. Nothing will come of this world. We both know that. You could try to do something about it. Oh, I will. Get on the colony ship and psh, off I go. What exactly do you do, Stanley? My job is to give people a trip to another world. That's what they want. To discover something new, something beautiful. Yeah, escaping. To a dream world. Exactly what Tracy did. What you got against dreams? Can't you imagine something better than this crap here? I can. But if it's not real, then what's the point? It's nothing, just a fantasy. Oh, come on. What happens in your head is just as real as everything that happens in real life. Every time you cloud call someone, you see a telepresence. Avatars run around every chat world. Are they real? Good question. Yeah, I gotta go. Hope I have some help. Yeah, okay. Safe travels. Enjoy reality. <laughs> In Berlin, overnight, a raid on multiple subway tunnels resulted in the destruction of numerous police bots. The police were sweeping the tunnels for criminals. Allegedly, the bots ran into heavy resistance and needed to retreat. According to police, it is not apparent if humans or autonomous machines were responsible for the attacks. <laughs> 